you're very welcome to this video in our series on saving and borrowing for a junior cycle business based on learning outcome 1.5. And in the video today, we're going to look at the difference between short, medium and long term sources of finance and some examples of uh, short, medium and long term sources of finance. So firstly, what's the difference between short, medium and long term sources of finance, I already think. Now, can you give an example of each of them? Pause the video there now, jot down a few ideas and ready, press play to continue. So. Short-term sources of finance are basically borrowing money that's available for up to a year, okay? So if it's for a short period of time, it usually use it to, uh, usually has to be paid within 12 months um, and used for short, medium-term needs, things that you need right here and now that you would be paying back very quickly uh, or and using very quickly as well. Medium-term source of finance then is finance available for usually a period between one to five years. So what type of things would you be borrowing for that's going to be lasting you maybe between one and five years? So usually you're paid within five years or 16 months for medium term needs. Um, long term source of finance then is available for a period of over five years. So it should be repaid between usually between five and 35 years. And we say it's used for long term strategic assets. So that's very big words to be using now. Uh, so usually for things that you have to, you know, just use them for a long time. So what's the obvious example there, do you think? Yeah, a house, usually speaking. Okay, so here are some examples of different short term sources of finance, okay? So a bank overdraft, now we look for what a bank overdraft is, that's when you've got a minus amount in your bank account um, and you need to get permission and it's on your bank current account. Uh, usually the limit is a maximum amount you can do on that, okay? Usually you might get an overdraft, for example, if your family's going on holidays or if the business needs to pay people that it owes money to, for example. Another one, say, for example, is trade creditors and this is basically from a business point of view who the business owes money to, okay? Um, so... Sometimes if a business owes money to the to people that it's, you know, bought goods on credit or bought goods um, buying now and paying later, they might need to get a bank overdraft for that. Credit card is another one as well. That's basically a nice and easy way. You know yourself, it's a pretty little plastic card. We learned about them in a previous video as well. Um, Visa and MasterCard are very known brands of credit cards. That's where you buy the stuff now, so you actually get the goods now, but you don't have to pay it back to the end of the month. Okay. So the medium term example is a term loan. So say, for example, you might get a loan um, for buying a, like a car loan or a home improvement loan. So the term loan is a loan for a set period of time. We have to pay back the repayments usually very regularly, usually every month or something like that with interest, of course, as well. So as you say, car loan, home improvement loan, business might get it for new appliances or machinery and stuff as well. Um, and we say medium term lasts between one and five years. Higher purchase, this is a way that people use to buy, uh, usually uh, between uh, for purchasing cars, uh, is it off, this is often used for, okay? Or household appliances as well, like say for example, fridge, cooker, um, washing machine, dishwasher, that type of stuff. Okay, so the way it works is that the finance, uh, usually there's three people involved, the buyer, the seller, and the finance company. So the finance company pays off the uh, the seller in full, so the seller gets all their money. So the deal then is between the finance company and the buyer. The, uh, the, own, the owner of the actual asset, so let's say for example in this case a car, is owned by the actual hire purchase company until the last payment is made for the goods. Okay, um, so usually that's that's how hire purchase works. There you go. Uh, leasing is another form of finance, usually used by businesses. Um, so a lot of businesses, instead of buying, say, for example, their cars or delivery vans or machinery or equipment or that, they lease it. So they're basically paying um, to use the asset without having to actually use the full price of it. Okay, So it's like renting it, for want of a better word. Okay. Uh, Long-term source of finance, then you've got a mortgage. Uh, this is used for when you're buying a new house, for example. Okay, so it's a long term loan from a financial institution. Okay, so folks, we now looked at the difference between short and medium term and uh, long term source of finance, and we looked at examples of them as well. Any questions, ask below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and a like? And of course, please subscribe to the channel by hitting that little button y circle thing in the middle of the screen over there somewhere, I think, with my name on it. Thanks very much for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.